Hi everyone, this is Aradian, and this is a video on the modulators or the envelopes and the LFOs in Faceplant. So Faceplant has a modulate, modulator section in the bottom of the screen, and you've got a few things to choose from. The main things are the envelope, the LFO, and the random LFO. Um, which re-triggers every time you hit a note, so you can get random values every time. Envelope is just a one-shot type deal, so let's say I put this on the pitch, it's going to go up, and then it's going to come back down to zero, because I have sustain set to nothing. Um, if you know, if you're familiar with attack, decay, sustain, release, these are all present in the envelope, but then you also have envelope delay, so it'll delay when the envelope starts and then you can hold it for a while. It doesn't sustain like completely as long as you hold the note, but it will hold it at the, the maximum value for a while before going to the sustain point. So it's not it's not exactly the same as sustain, but it's similar. LFOs you can use as envelopes as well, but they're mainly used for continual uh, continuous effects. So right now I have the LFO map to the band limiting or the the LFO is affecting the band limit right now so as the LFO moves the band limiting opens and closes and you can change the speed um, in Hertz or you can lock it to the host tempo I'm at 174 so it's going really fast uh, and you can change the the type of note, so this would be 32nd, and then you can do triplet notes as well, which I believe is like similar to dotted. Um, but 4 is the slowest, and then the um, 64 on the left side, that's the slowest. So you can get pretty slow alpha, um, or extremely fast, like into audio rate range, pretty much. Um, not quite, but it's getting there. So if you see these two knobs at the bottom, we have retrigger, which will start the LFO from the beginning every time you press a note. If you leave retrigger re off, the LFO will keep going independent of the notes. And if you turn on retrigger, you can also turn on one shot. So what will happen is the LFO acts as an envelope. It'll play through the LFO once at whatever speed it's at, and then it will stop. Phase, pretty simple, controls the starting point of the waveform. And I'll just go over random quickly. Same type of uh, time features as in the LFO. Uh, jitter makes the random a bit more um, unequal in time. Smooth turns it into a bit more of a... Yeah, it smooths it out. And chaos... Uh, will basically increase the range. Uh, I'll go over the these meters on the right side of these modulators now. And I'm... Fuck. So, <laughs> yeah. If you press this little drop-down arrow, you'll get a menu, and you'll be able to choose between unipolar, bipolar, and inverted. So, what the fuck are these? What the fuck are those? Unipolar, um, basically, if you map your modulator to a value, unipolar will make zero as the value that the knob is, is at without playing it. So the bottom value for me will be this um, value, which is a little bit above zero. But it won't go below that value because the value I have set on the knob is the bottom value. With bipolar, what happens is the the value I have set on the knob is the center of the modulation, so it will go below. I just said below here, below and above that point. So if I just hit another note you'll see it's going on both sides of that value. It'll go... Oh, man, I can't talk today. It'll go below and above the value I've set. 
uh, inverted is like the opposite of unipolar so this time if I go negative 100 by the way um, you can also set negative values so unipolar if I have like a negative 100% um, now the value I've set is the maximum value so it basically flips it and that's similar to what inverting the LFO does anyway that's it I stumbled a few times because I'm a fucking idiot but I hope I got the message across alright that yeah you got some dinky little modulators in phase plant so yeah go wild